Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a estate sale haul for you guys. I know I haven't been doing a Goodwill haul for a while, but it's been very difficult to try and get away for that many hours at a time. So I have, so I spent $75 and I got 18 items, which is around $4 and something cents a piece. A little bit more than sometimes I do. Some of the shoes that they were selling, they were selling at a higher price than they have recently. And so I don't know if they're trying to get their prices to go up or not. Um, this is a specific company. It's called All in the Family Estate Sales. And so I usually go to those. She did have, the lady that passed away had a bunch of like vintage, like full on fur coats and everything. And they were seriously pricing them at like $350. And I, I wanted to say it, but I, I forgot. Fur coats don't go for that much anymore. <laughs> I had one and it was hard to get it to sell for like 40 to $50 because, and, and I don't know, maybe it's just where I was selling it, but hey, anyway. So let's get into the haul of the cool stuff I found. I got two pairs of shoes. The first pair is by Classique Antier. And let me show you the tack. These are mainly from Nordstrom is where they sell them. There is the tag. And they are made in Italy. They are this great pointed toe, almost like a witch kind of looking shoe. So they might be kind of good for Halloween. <laughs> And they have this great leather bottom, a little bit of wear. They are a size 10. I'm a nine, so they are definitely a regular 10. And she kept them in great condition. She used shoe horns for all of her shoes. So they have the great shape in them, have a great shape because they were kept very well. So there are those, haven't looked them up, but I know that's a great brand because I've sold it before. So, and they were a very interesting style. Next item is a pair of Roper shoes. There is the insignia. It does not have the brand on the inside. Someone removed the insole and put in their own insole that says New Balance on it. Um, and so that's definitely something I'm gonna to have to put in the listing and state that there is the name on the bottom. So that the soles are in great condition, tops are in great condition. The only thing is the insole, but I still think I should be able to sell them well and someone can just put in their own insoles inside them. Sorry, that's my boys going from one room to the other, trying to get my videos done before everybody gets home. Anyway, so the next item I found, she had a bunch of gloves. None of them seemed to be anything like special, but these ones were snow gloves, I believe. They are full leather and they are a brand called Combi, K-O-M-B-I. They are a size small, they are ladies, and they are thick and warm, guys. So I don't know if I may end up keeping these if they don't sell, because I do live in a very cold climate and I hate the gold. <laughs> Absolutely hate it guys. <laughs> so these are great and they're in great condition. All right. The next item it's, you can hear it already. It doesn't have anything on the back and I didn't think to check that, but it's this really cool women's belt buckle it has floral pattern right here. It's metal. And then it has this holographic bird on it. And I thought it was really interesting. It was with all the other jewelry. And it doesn't have a name or anything on it, but it's really cool. So I just grabbed that. I don't know if I'll end up selling it for much. That may have been a bad pickup, but eh, what are you gonna do? The next item I got, items actually, is seven bras that are all vintage Victoria's Secret. They are all either padded or push up and uh, you can see how old they are. Ugh, this one actually feels kind of sticky. It's weird. Ooh, something's on that. That needs to get washed. Ugh. Yeah, I'm washing that. 
She must have had something on her when she was wearing it. Anyway, it's Victoria's Secret Gold Label. This one is a 36C. Then there's this one, which is the front closure. And it feels like it's the, it's the push-up one. This one is also a 36C. Then there is this one, padded back closure. This one is also a 36C. So I might be doing a lot of ones that are a specific size. This one has the removable pads on the inside. Still has both of them in great condition. None of that weird stickiness that the other one had. This one is a 36B. Then we have this peach colored one, just regular padding, no push up. Has that weird sticky feel. And it's union made actually. It's got a union tag on it. So there it is. There's the Victoria's Secret label. There's the union tag made in the USA and it's also a 36C. Then the next one we have is red, regular padding, has these double straps. So this is another one of those. This is a size 36C like a lot of the other ones. There is the gold tag. It's not a push-up, it's just regular padding and it does have that weird kind of feel on this part right here. I'm not sure if that's something I can wash out or not. I'm gonna have to try to see if I can. And then the next one is another one with just regular padding all through. Same kind of weird material back here. Vintage gold label made in the USA. And it's also another 36C. So I'm probably going to be lotting together a lot of these 36 C's possibly. I'm not sure about that. Um, this one also does have those cute little double straps that I really like. So I'm not sure what the deal is with this material. They all seem kind of like my hands are sticky. They're sticky now. So I'm gonna have to wash those in the delicate cycle with like some OxyClean or something See if there's a way to kind of get that out. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. All right, onto the clothing. Some of this is kind of crazy. This is not something I would normally pick up, but sometimes you just gotta take, take a chance, right? This is a vintage set and it's by Componix Marsha Brander. It's Marsha Brander for Componix. And here is the crop style jacket. And these are high rise shorts that go with it. That's totally like 80s and 90s. I mean, seriously, super cute. It is a size 14, says made in the USA. And it is made out of acetate and rayon and it's dry clean. So super cute vintage set. Definitely gonna make sure this goes up on eBay in case it's needed for any production companies doing some like vintage throwback shows or something, right? So set that over here. Next item, I'm pretty sure this is like Finnish or Dutch or something like that, but it did have this one of these awesome hangers. I love these awesome hangers with this like feel on them that has like this texture. I have another one just like it that I got in another estate sale and I think they're super cool. Anyway, here is the tag. Has these cute little Dutch people on it and it says Land House Moden A Hildebrand size 46. It has this pleating up on the shoulder. These great buttons and then on both the sleeves, it has that. And then also on the back. How cool is that? And it is made out of 50% bomb wool. 
I think it's 50% wool, 35% viscose, and 15% linen. And then the inside is acetate. It's kind of hard to figure it out, but it's, it's almost easy. <laughs> anyway, that is super cool. It gives me like sound of music kind of vibes, you know? All right, next one is another one from a different country. It says made in Thailand. And this tag says Cornwall. It is pure virgin wool dry clean. And it's this great red cropped little jacket. How cute is that? I'm starting to think maybe I should open up a vintage shop on Etsy and like cross list all my vintage stuff over to there also. Okay, now we got this great hanger. Look how cool that hanger is. It says hardwood, deluxe hardwood hanger, French collar coat hanger. Hmm. Pretty cool. Anyway, this one does not have a normal tag on it, but I know it is not American. It says size 44 in this little tag. It's this great pink little blazer with this cable knitting. I'm pretty sure it's wool cotton. Yes, it is completely wool and it says made, made in Western Germany. And when you see this little insignia, that mean, or that little symbol, that means pure wool. So that's a good way to tell if something old is wool. These buttons are awesome. And then it even has this little pin in the back and it says Germany on it, which I thought was a cool little detail. I don't think that was meant to be there because it's actually one that gets pinned on but how cool is that? And it even has a little bit of stretch to it. All right, next piece is so 80s and cool. This is by Santa Maria Trading. It's hand knit in Uruguay. It's 100% virgin wool and it's dry clean. How cool is that, guys? I haven't even looked it up. I saw it and I knew I had to get it right away because I knew it would sell. Even has shoulder pads in it, y'all. Shoulder pads. It's pretty long and it's so cool and oversized. And it's a size medium, but I could totally wear that. I mean, seriously. It doesn't feel itchy or anything though. And it has pockets. It has pockets. I love pockets. So that one, I don't know how much it'll go for, but it's freaking amazing. I'm not gonna let it go for anything less than I think it should. All right, this next item is another vintage by Choss. And it is a size 16, 100% rayon, made in Taiwan. And it's this full length skirt, well maybe midi actually. And the main reason I got this one, not just was it vintage, but it's like, here, let me pull it off this super cool vintage hanger. Has a clasp on the side. It has pockets, but look at this print. It's almost like they're like these Russian or Oriental guys and they're hunting. Seriously, look how cool that print is. It's a hunting skirt. Yeah, so cool. I don't know, I may even try to wear it. Who knows? Okay, so I saved the best one for last. So 80s, guys, so 80s. All right, check this out. Look at this, big old shoulder pads. Here's the netted cardigan, and look at that. Seriously, sleeveless, and the brand is Susan Lane's Country Elegance. Now I looked this one up because I didn't want to just get something just because, and these, this brand 
online is selling anywhere between 100 and 200 dollars so since i got this for like four bucks i mean seriously are you kidding me i am super excited oh geez there's pins in here i think they're holding on the pieces so that they don't become separated and hang off of the this but how cool is that seriously guys so like vintage 80s like mother of the bride it's not even funny yeah so i'll keep you guys posted when this gets sold i will let you guys know because i'm super excited about that my big sis who's super child of the 80s was like holy crap <laughs> hi cheryl so anyway, that's it for the estate haul that I did this last weekend. I am super excited to share all this kind of stuff with you. If you guys like these kind of estate hauls, go ahead and hit the thumbs up for me. Share my channel, tell everybody. I wanna keep doing these kinds of hauls. I'm probably gonna be doing a bins haul sometime in the near future. It's just getting the time and now that school started to be able to go and do that possibly while everyone's at school be there for a few hours and get some filming done with my awesome new GoPro. So I will talk to you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.